You got it, you got it. Pull up, pull up, pull up a shot up. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shot up. What's up, AD team? Austin Dunham back again with another video. So, this picture right here used to be me. Believe it or not, I'm a hard gainer, just like you probably. Now, even though I'm a hard gainer, throughout the past few years, I figured out how I can personally gain weight and gain muscle. Because I remember those times when I felt like I would eat anything and everything, and I still wasn't putting on weight. So basically, in this video, I'm gonna give you some hard gainer tips that I've really never talked before. And hopefully, if you are a hard gainer, you can implement these tips as soon as possible and start your journey on the road to gaining weight. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Step number one is that you have to simply eat more and realize that if you think you eat a lot, then you're simply not eating enough. Now, two easy ways you're gonna get more calories because it all comes down to calories all right consuming more calories than what you burn aka eating more or drinking more and speaking of drinking more start drinking your calories guys now you still want to drink your water of course but try to drink more of your calories so smoothies juices protein shakes all right there's so many options out there that can easily add more calories um, to your day and if you drink your calories more with your meals, it's gonna make it that much easier Also another thing that I would do is that I will wake up early to eat It's gonna be pretty hard to get your calories in if you're waking up at 10 a.m. Or 11 a.m. Or even worse intermittent fasting and waiting to like 2 p.m. To eat we don't want to do that if we're on the road to gaining weight and especially if we're hard gainers We want to wake up early. All right, let's say let's say five or six even um, You can even eat something and then go right back to bed the point is, is that you want to just eat more often throughout the day and the way you can easily do that is by simply waking up early. And remember, even though you might eat a lot in a single sitting, you have to do that consistently throughout the day. So it might be easier for you to divide your meals into smaller portions of say, let's say 600 to 700 calories uh, four to five times a day. Tip number two is that you want to know your body, all right? You want to know your body like you know the back of your hand if you even know that and the reason why i say that is because you have to figure out your calorie expenditure throughout the day and figuring this out takes a bit of testing and in order to get the first step is you have to use some sort of online calculator in order to figure out how many calories you're burning a day or you can use any type of multiplier that you've seen now a good recommendation for me is heart energy you want to start off with 3,000 calories a day that's pretty much the baseline that a lot of people always start off with. And then from there, each week, not daily, but each week, track your weight as soon as you wake up in the morning, as soon as you pee or do whatever. And from there, adjust your calories on a basis of 200 to 300 calories, going up or down if you need to, but I highly doubt it. And also you wanna figure out your intuitive eating weight. Your intuitive eating weight is the weight that your body just maintains on a daily basis without you tracking calories or without you trying to force feed yourself food so my intuitive eating weight is anywhere between 174 and 175 pounds without even thinking my body's going to maintain that weight for me now if i want to get above that that's when i need to start eating more and start seriously thinking about it and tracking my calories as i said before now i mentioned tracking your calories the app you're going to use is a pretty popular one that a lot of people do including myself and that is my fitness pal to search in the app store and you're good to go. Um, it has a food database, you can scan your food and weigh your food and put it. It's very, very easy to use and easy to learn. Now, speaking about tracking guys, along with your calories, you have to track your weight. Now, don't make the same mistake I made back when I first hit a bulk when I was like 17, 18 years old and getting so much weight too fast. The reason why is because I was not tracking my weight. Now there's a scale that I use that I implement in a lot of my videos and within my daily life, and that is the scale by Vitagus, guys. Now let me explain a little bit about the scale because I feel like it's gonna help out you hard gainers a ton. So this scale is a high accuracy digital scale providing your weight measurement, of course, and also other body components that you probably weren't even thinking about. One of them including your body fat percentage. Now how it does this is through a method called bioelectrical impedance. And without a doubt, in my opinion, once you input your age, your stats, your height, and different measurements like that, it provides a pretty accurate reading of your body fat percentage along with your bone density and water retention. I've been using this scale for over a year now, and I can truly say when it comes to gaining weight or losing fat that it has helped me with my progress a ton. 
And the reason why I say this is because not only do I track my weight and my notepad with pounds on a weekly basis, but I also keep track of the body fat percentage that the scale is reading out to me. So for example, let's say my goal weight is to get to 185 pounds, and right now I'm 175 pounds at 10% body fat. My goal is 185 pounds without getting in, you know, any more than 14% body fat, let's say. Um, I hit 185 um, pounds, but the scale says I'm at 16% body fat. That's when I know that I need to kind of slow things down and take the bulk a bit slower. So it just makes it that much easier to track your progress and everybody should have a scale and an accurate one at that. Now they are the sponsor of this video and I'm proud to say that because like I said, I've been using this for over a year now. Many people have asked what the scale I use and now they're offering a discount to the 80 team if you check the first link down below in the description, okay? They ship worldwide. Many people have given reviews on the scale and many, many people own one by now. And if you're not owning one, then I highly, highly suggest you to check out the page and look down below, all right? Like I said, they're giving you guys a huge discount at the moment, so be sure to take advantage of it. Link will be down below in the description. Tip number four in regards to your training now instead of your diet is that you wanna train with high intensity. I cannot stress this enough, guys. Intensity equals every single rep you're pushing yourself, you're training near to failure or even close to failure and with a lot of volume, guys. You, you seriously have to force your muscles to grow. And that comes with either you're doing weight training or body weight training like myself or weighted calisthenics, it doesn't matter. You have to push yourself every single set, every single rep. If you're picking light weights and you know you can do a lot more but you're stopping the set early, you're not gonna grow, no matter how much um, calories you're eating and how much protein you're eating, all right? And number two, like I said, if you don't train with enough volume, you're just doing like three sets per muscle group each week, then obviously you're not gonna get good results doing that either, all right? So um, I plan on making a full guide on this when it comes to gaining weight and building size with calisthenics. But for now, just realize that your intensity and volume has to be on par along with your diet that consists of enough calories and protein. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, all this stuff is easier said than done. So really take your time with it, do your research, experiment within your body, and tip number five, don't rush it, okay? Like I said before, you don't wanna just like start today and just feed your face with food because I promise, Three weeks from now, four weeks from now, you're gonna look at yourself and be like, wow, I should not have done that. So experiment with the process, take it slow, um, seriously learn your body and track everything as I said before. And you should see good results as long as everything else is in line. Now, I never made a video when it comes um, to gaining weight and bulking and building muscle. However, I'm glad that I can help my fellow hard gainers out there because like I said, I used to be in your position. Now guys, let me know what else you want me to make next regarding to gaining weight. Now be sure to do that. My name is Austin Dunham. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.